Wendy, how do we really know there was a beginning to the universe? What we've been able to measure is that the universe is expanding. We see that um, galaxies that are more distant are moving away from us faster and faster. Um, this was a relationship discovered by Edwin Hubble in 1929. Um, in the context of Albert Einstein's general, rel general theory of relativity, what this allows us to do is to essentially run like a movie running backwards um, and say, okay, how long then has that expansion been occurring over? And so if you extrapolate back, you get to a time when the universe would have been much denser, much hotter, and um, a time we refer to as a Big Bang origin for the universe. Now, is that the only technique that we know, or are there other techniques that can come to the same realization that there must have been some kind of beginning? Well, we see, for example, if there had been a Big Bang an explosion sometime early in the universe, you ought to see uh, the remnants of the radiation from that Big Bang. And we do see that. Uh, you can predict, in fact, that it would be cooler now because the universe has been expanding in the intervening time, and we see the uniform background radiation. Now it's three degrees above absolute zero, very cold temperature, but we see it everywhere over the sky, which is a, uh, evidence for an earlier uh, fiery uh, beginning to the universe. So we really now have two totally independent sources of data. One is this ex expansion of the universe, you run that movie in reverse. The other is the remnant radiation that since it's from everywhere had to be from everywhere. And so that's the proof of the that there was a beginning. So you have two totally separate pieces and in, of data. In fact, there are more. You would predict that when the temperature was really hot in the early universe, you would form the elements, light elements like mm -hmm. hydrogen and helium. And you can predict very accurately what the relative abundances of those elements would be. It's exact, when we go out and measure those abundances, they fit uh, precisely with what you would expect if there had been a an early beginning in a Big Bang. And how about looking at the individual components within the universe, the age of galaxies, stars, rocks on Earth, uh, how do they correlate? They're consistent. So when we measure the ages of the rocks on Earth, they're three, four billion years old. Um, if we measure the ages of stars in our Milky Way galaxy, they have a range of ages up to about 12 or 13 billion years. So we have independent clocks that can give us estimates of the age of the objects that we see in the universe, and they are consistent with the same time scale that we measure uh, by measuring the expansion. So individual components, which may have formed at different times in the universe, all had a beginning so that each of these independent pieces of information, even though their numbers may differ depending on when they formed, all cannot be explained without assuming that they began at a certain point. Right. And you, of course, can't have objects in the universe that are older than the universe itself. That would be a contradiction. And so the, all of these timescales are, in fact, with uh, now recent um, discoveries, um, so I don't want to get into dark energy, right? This is not the right time. But, but all of these measurements are consistent with uh, an age of the universe of about 13, 14 billion years old.